Let's talk about tiny planner supplies for tiny planners. One of my favorite planner sizes is pocket size. It is so cute and adorable. It fits in the palm of your hand and so easy to take along. I love miniatures and when I discovered pocket size planning, I was in love. These ones right here are moleskin pocket planners. These are dailies. This one is year old and this one is brand new. Don't you love how chunky it becomes? But because of the small size of this planner, they call for small size supplies just to be able to add some embellishment to these planners but also leave some space for journaling, planning, note-taking, memory keeping and so forth. So today I want to talk about my favorite tiny supplies that fit these size of planners. When talking about supplies for small size planners, you want them to serve two purposes. You want them to be decorative and also practical. You can decide to make your planners super minimal or you want them to be decorated a lot. So with that in mind, let's look at different supplies that can help you with both. Of course, let's start with pens because in planner, the first thing you will do is probably write. When it comes to writing instruments that work with Moleskin Pocket Planner right here, I found that for me Energels are the best. I love them ever since I discovered them. Here I have two of them. This one is Energel Klena in this brown sepia color. And here's another Energel. This is not a Klena, but is from the same Energel family. And this one in this beautiful turquoise. Uh, this one is 0.5 and this one as well. But I also got refills in different sizes. 0.4, I have a 0.3 here. Energel Klena are the ones, are the only Energels that go to 0.25, I believe. Uh, the rest of Energels, I believe, either 0.4 or 0.5 for sure. Because of the small size of these pages, I do like to stay at 0.5 and no more because otherwise it becomes a bit too thick and it also tend have a tendency to possibly seep through the paper. So uh, my favorite pens, the ones I do recommend to use with specifically Moleskin Pocket are Energels here, but you can also consider uh, one P over here. This one here is in 0.38. Uh, it's very sharp and pointy and this one is in black ink and it's wonderful. This uni one P comes in various body colors they are all adorable they're super chunky in short and they totally f perfectly fit the size of this planner without sticking out on the top or the bottom when you put them together with the cover so this one is definitely a pen to consider very cute next in the family of writing instruments are highlighters so i use highlighters to embellish and also write titles right here you will see i write the days of the week and i also delineate top and the bottom of the page just to give it some structure on the bottom here i use an gel but on the top here i used a highlighter like one of these so i love these because these are very gentle colored they are intended for a thin paper like a bible paper so because of that they are uh, bleed free or at least bleed proof and their colors are very mild so they will not overpower your page design i have several here they come in sets of five or seven or dozen uh, all variety of rainbow colors really pretty i got this smaller set i believe it had uh seven colors i think i got this in a smaller set because i didn't need uh, the full spectrum since i already have a bigger set from mr pen so i got this set i believe it had five or six colors and they are very mild and they're very pretty and they all work well with each other which is important so i like them because they are chisel tip so if you want, you can write them in the way that they will be wide, like I did right here, or you can point and write with a sharp point and you can write out names or just make a very thin line. So I like that flexibility. They don't have anything on the other side, just on this side. The chisel tip allows you to make it either wide or narrow and they're very mild colored. If you do one pass, they're going to be very light, but you can build up on it by doing it a couple more times and it gets darker as you use it. So with this, you basically get like two, three colors in one because you can make it really light or really dark, depends on what you want to do on your page. So now let's talk about actual decor. There are so many ways you can decorate these pages, even though they're so small. 
you can use stamps, you can use stickers, you can use washi tapes. As I mentioned, you can use different highlighters to draw lines or draw pictures. So here, let's talk about stamps. Uh, so I have two kinds of stamps here. Uh, this one here is friction erasable stamps. These come in individual and also sets. Uh, I got five different ones and then I got a separate container to hold them. This one is pilot container designed for the stamps as you can see it's made to fit five and the ones I have here specifically are shopping cart, panda just because it's cute, birthday cake, cloud and a sun. So I use cloud and the sun for weather because that's mostly what we get here in California. I use birthday cake to delineate where there are birthdays. Panda like I said I just use it for fun and shopping cart I mark when it's time for me to shop when I plan out my week. The beauty of these stamps besides being erasable is that they're so tiny. They are self inked so you don't need an ink pad to dip them in. They already come with everything included and the little rim around here includes the eraser. So it's little stamp. Look at this size. It's so perfect. It's so cute and it's all in one. The eraser is right here. You pop the lid open, align the image, and then you just stamp it and it will produce an image that will be nice and bright and clean. And as I mentioned, erasable if you mess up. Of course, just like with any erasable pilot pen, you need to let it dry a little bit and then you can basically erase it, which works by using heat. And then you can fix a mistake, which was important for me because I just hate messing up in my planner, which I'm sure you can relate. So being able to erase them was just like so important to me. And when I find them I thought that they were so adorable and I had to have them and I use them every day to put the icon for the weather sun or cloud and then as I mentioned when I go shopping uh, or if it's someone's birthday then I use them to delineate that so they are so cute I really like them next set of stamps is something that I'm sure you are all familiar with and these are clear stamps so I have a whole bunch of them here. These are different phases of moon and they right now are also packed here with the clear block. Uh, there are also days of the week. So this planner already has days of the week, but if you have one that's just a notebook and you're treating it as a bullet journal, these are wonderful from same maker. You have a single letter days of the week here if you want to choose that or you have a three letter days of the week and also you have a stamp that just says week and then slash week one, two, three. Uh, same maker as these moons, super adorable, super cute. And of course, the beauty of clear stamps uh, with a clear block is that you can see precisely where you will be stamping. You just peel off this soft silicone stamp, put it on a clear block, dab it in the ink, and then you can precisely see where it's going to land when you're stamping it, which I really love about these kind of stamps. And then um, from another maker, and these are from... Uh, Park Lane, I got this set that has like a million <laughs> different cute tiny stamps. There are happy faces here, hearts and stars and things like that. Numbers, special symbols, and then you have hearts and arrows and photo camera and a little scissors for any kind of occasion you can find the stamp here. And the cute thing about this specific stamp set is if you have a disc bound planner, you can see they reside on this holder that's already punched and you can just slide them into your disc bound planner and it can be there ready for you to use whenever you feel like. But um, I keep them just by themselves in their original packaging so that they don't dry up or fall off or get dirty. And then of course to use this kind of stamps you will need an ink pad because these are not self ink. And the Versa Magic here I found is the best type of ink because it doesn't bleed on thin type of papers. Here I have this beautiful one in turquoise. I also have one in like sepia brown and they come in so many different colors and they are all gorgeous. You can get sets that are all in the same family like these blues, oceany blues. Or you can get a set that has a full spectrum, a full rainbow of colors for every need you have. They are beautiful, they're tried and true, and they are so small to carry around, just perfection. Next categories is I'm sure will be everyone's favorite and it's stickers. There are so many wonderful sticker makers out there. There are so many gorgeous shops with stickers that are very minimal and practical or very cute and quirky or just adorable and makes my heart really happy because no matter what size of planner you have, you can find stickers to fit it. Here over time, I collected stickers that are very tiny and a perfect fit for this size of page. 
I can go sometimes with a slightly bigger sticker or smaller sticker depending on the day, but otherwise I collected stickers that are all in the same small scale, so then I know I can mix and match them and they will not overpower my page, leave enough space for writing, but also add some whimsy and decor. So let's start from the top. Uh, as I mentioned, there are so many makers and here I have just very few. Uh, feel free, of course, go on Etsy or on Instagram and you can find so many wonderful makers out there. Here I have some of the makers I came across in my early days of planning and I kind of stuck with them. Here I have some adorable stickers by the Cafe Monsters Co, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. This particular ones, as you can see, I already used some of these stickers. This one was from Halloween set, but I really love the colors. And even though there are candy corns, they are not like in your face. And I actually use them whenever I feel like it, it doesn't have to be around Halloween or fall because I like these blue and beiges and browns which fit with my general color scheme. Uh, there are different bookmarks here, um, very adorable and I like how small they are and you can totally easily fit them in the side pocket of your cover that comes along with your planner. Next one is one of my favorite shops and it's Create with Pen. Create with Pen makes not just stickers but adorable notebooks with Tomoe River paper which I own uh, several sizes of. I own Passport B6 and I'm about to get another B6 in this beautiful mint color that she just came up with. Love it! But her stickers are so adorable. Again, they come in a variety of sizes, but uh, these, the ones that I got, are so small and perfect. This one has a girl that about to go shopping, so I use when I need to go shopping. This one, just look at beautiful color scheme here of blues and purples. Here, one is two friends hanging out. So whenever I have a you know a date with a friend or with my daughters, I will use one of these. Here's another one of a little girl taking photos. So whenever my husband and I, we on vacation and we're taking pictures, I would use some of them. Uh, I have many more that I don't show here, but uh, they are very adorable and such a perfect size for this kind of planner. And as you can see, they can all wonderfully live together right next to each other. For example, on this spread alone, here I have Coffee Monsters Co., here I have Create with Pen, and here I have Ivory Paper Co. stickers. I unfortunately used up all of her stickers, so all I have is this <laughs> blank paper that I really need to refill. But as you can see, uh, on my pages, I use a variety of stickers from different shops, and they all play so nicely together because they are all of a very similar size. Here are some of the stickers I got from Jet Pens. So this one by Papier Platz, and these are like a vintage uh, set of nine, and they have like a record player and an ink bottle. As you can see, there is one here. So they're kind of like this vintagey, writery, travel-y kind of stickers, very adorable. Uh, it's self-sealing envelopes, so you can keep them in there and not lose them. I have a sticker set here that I got from Midori. So Jet Pants carries a lot of Midori items and some of them are stickers, which are so adorable. Look how tiny they are and they stick so well and they peel very easily. Here's this blue, beautiful like a blue turquoise set that has variety of things from happy birthday to meals to animals to flowers to whatever whatever you want here is more creative on the writery side as you can see i used up already a bunch of them but there are pens and washi tapes and paints and scissors so anything that kind of crafty and paper like this one used to be full of coffee items and as you can see i used most of them up and they're really easy to remove uh, it's open on the top and you just slide out the sheet and then you use stickers uh, whatever way you want. Another source of fun stickers is Amazon as you can imagine. Here I have a whole bunch of Molang stickers. These are actually two different sets. Uh, because I like them so much I end up buying another set again. So I have some duplicates but they are so cute. Look how small they are and colorful and there are some just black and white and different theme. You have stickers here for Valentine's and Christmas and summer and fall and school and music instruments. So whatever theme you want to give to your page for the particular day or to match whatever event you have, you will probably find it here. And I love them because they're so cute and they give this adorable whimsy to my pages. Like here you see it was my husband's birthday. So I found Malang with a bow tie. He looks like a boy. So I figured that's going to be my husband. And here's me eating my cake together with my husband. And I put some cupcakes here to delineate, you know, to mark his birthday. So how adorable is that? 
So I really love them. Here's another one when it was really tiring work day. So I put Molang here with a giant coffee cup because I needed it. And here he goes. Whew, that was a, quite a day. So I really like these stickers. As I said, uh, one set comes with dozens and dozens of stickers. I've had this for over a year and I still have them and I'm sure they will last me through 2024. Another set of tiny stickers that I really love are by Swatelier. They create so many stickers and look how small they are. They're very tiny, they have different themes. This one here is breakfast items. Here was like a cooking for breakfast again and baking. Here you have these beautiful flowers of different kinds. Here you have just like outdoorsy people in all of these beautiful like a sage kind of themed colors. So cute and how small they are. And what I like about them being on this clear backing is that I can put them on the page and see if this particular design will fit well where I want it and then I can choose it and then I can peel it and put it on. I love them, they're really adorable. If you have a small size planner, be it Moleskin or any other ones, I definitely recommend this because they're so cute and they have so many themes to fit whatever event in your life you want to uh, embellish. And there are some other ones I got from Amazon. Uh, here, just a bunch of succulents. Uh, here it shows you uh, each sheet and what it has. Yes, they are on a slightly larger side, but they also have a smaller ones. So whenever I need, I use smaller ones, but there are some days when I feel like it's been too crazy and I have nothing to say or I don't have time to write a lot of things on my page. I use the bigger ones to kind of fill the space and then I just put a little bit of writing to finish up that page and it works out so well. And I like the beautiful colors they have. They're very muted. There are a lot of purples and blues and greens that match my kind of color scheme. So they fit in so perfectly with my pages and with other stickers. Another cute set of stickers I got from Jet Pants is this one here it's bandai and these stickers come in a strip and they just overlay each other they come in this little cute container and if you open it and unwrap your tape these ones are household they're really cute there are mirrors and armchairs and flowers and all kinds of things and there are a ton of stickers that take up a very little space so if you have concern with storage i mean in this little tiny container there are dozens and dozens of stickers. Again, I had this strip for probably over a year and I still have a whole bunch of stickers to go and Bandai brand has so many different ones. They have ones from England, you know, you have your double-decker double buses and phone booths. They have these flower ones, uh, they have a household and flower. They have like frames and uh, just a variety, variety, really cute very portable and very adorable i have a bookshelf over here from the set i have a bouquets over here and i also have bottles with flowers on the top here that i use next to the weekday names and lastly if you cannot find tiny stickers look for books that have a variety of stickers because yes they might have stickers that are quite large but often they also have stickers that are on a smaller side for example i got this set of recollection stickers from michael's and this one just basically countries of the world so many different stickers especially if you're big on traveling they're so cute and yes some of them are quite big like this one but then you can find something smaller like these stamps uh, like these uh, little flags here. Yes, like for example, this is pretty large, but still you can fit it on this page if you wanna, you know, fill up the page with just a sticker. They have letters here and um, some of the uh, strips here, you can cut them and use in shorter version. Like all of these are pretty large, so I don't know if I'll be able to use most of them for, but for example, uh, I can use this croissant or this baguette for like a breakfast um, image. As you can see, I use some of the images from here. This passport is small enough to use, for example, if you want to show a page when you went on a trip. So definitely consider sticker books that have different sizes of stickers, because then you might find stickers that will fit your smaller planners as well for your bigger planners if you use those as well. Another quick category that is sticker related are these tabs. So if you want to tab your planner, you know, kind of mark out where every month begins or maybe every week, depends on how you want it to do, you can get tabs. 
Of course, this planner is super small, so tabs need to be small as well, because if you tab out every month, you need to fit 12 of them on the side, and 12 for this small page size is actually a lot. So two places where I found the small perfect tab sizes for pocket size planners are Coffee Monsters Co. Look how adorable they are. They are so cute. There are two sets and there are also weekly, monthly, so you can use these on the side and then you can use these on the top depending how you want to tab out your planner but they are so adorable and i believe they also fit uh, hobonichi weeks so super cute and then for another option consider these midori tabs so they come in grayscale rainbow and also these blue green ones which as if you know me i love this kind of color scheme and they are super tiny and they're perfectly sized for these kind of pages as you can see they have numbers here there are 12 so it's enough for the whole year and there are two sets in here so if you use up one then you have one for the next year or if you mess up you have another one you can use them on the side you can use them on the top and of course if you want to use them for not month but for something else they don't have january february march they have numbers so because of that you can use them however you want really cute uh, it tells you how to affix them here uh, you know gives you all the instructions and how beautiful are these colors and the last but not least category is washi tapes everyone's favorite so of course there are so many washi tapes there are washi tapes that are like two inches wide to a couple millimeters wide because of the small size of this page the washi tape that i tend to use here is on the narrow side the narrower the better in the beginning when i got washi tape i got kind of your standard so this one i think it's like a centimeter wide 10 millimeters and even though it's pretty wide it still can be totally managed in this size of planner uh, it only takes up about two lines in moleskin pocket so that's perfect and i like this muted color of course works with my beiges and my greens but then if you want to use a lot of washi tape but not overwhelm your pages i recommend washi tapes that are really narrow like this i got the set from amazon on a thing of like 50 different washi tapes and they're basically wider washi tapes cut down to about I think it's like two millimeters here you can see how thin they are and the pack has all the variety of colors here you have blues and greens and reds you know for your kind of a Christmassy stuff for your Easter or your summer or winter I mean look how beautiful they are and they're very thin and they're easily positionable you can just tear them off when you stick them on in here I use them mostly to give structure to my pages for example you can see here on the bottom I use this uh, yellow green with gold washi tape just to give a structure on the bottom and then on the following pages I use them here uh, again this green one Here's the one with red specs. Here I use some of the washi tapes from Coffee Monsters Co. And here's this black and gold one. Because washi tape does have a bit of a thickness, what I'm trying to do in these planners is use them interchangeably, sometimes on the top, sometimes on the bottom, so then my pages don't bulk up all in the same spot. In the beginning here, I tended to do only on the bottom and then I realized I'm getting this kind of a bump you can see here. So after that, I start using them on the top, on the bottom, on the top, on the bottom. So then my pages end up being, you know, getting thicker but evenly. So then when I write, there is no bump that I have to like write over. As I mentioned, there are washi tapes of different thicknesses and you don't have to go out and buy something narrow if you don't have it. As you know, washi tapes are so easy to cut down or rip them in very artistic way. And you can use what you already have, just cut them in a very narrow strips or tear them off for like a corner decor. Washi tapes are so versatile. You can use them to tip in pages, to decorate them, to write on them, you know, use them as a background for your title pages you know variety of ways i don't have to tell you i'm sure you already know and a bit of an honorable mention here if you do decide to use watercolors in your pocket planners uh, there are also portable paint sets that are so cute and so easy to take along in a little bag where you carry in your pocket planner just throw those paints in there and go this set here is windsor newton and uh, it is a portable paint set look how adorable it comes with 12 paints here they all come included uh, also comes with a water brush look how cute it is so this is the type of brush where you put water inside and you have water on the go 
and then you use the lid as your uh, mixing pan so super cute very easy to take on the go every color that you need if you want something even cuter or specialty colors you can go with the brand here this one is a csy art gallery this is a tin box look how small this is and look at these gorgeous colors so there are six colors and there are these beachy green beach glass colors they are pearly look how gorgeous these are handmade paints and they come in this little tin box right now they move around but they have a magnetic strip that i haven't attached yet to keep them in place so they then don't fall off and of course you can mix your paints over here look how cute it is how easy is that to take on the go together with your planner and of course you will need brushes you can get a set of water brushes uh, jet pens have them in different sizes and different thicknesses but if you want portable brushes there are different places where you can get portable foldable brushes like these i got these on amazon but you can get them also in art stores uh, you can get them in michael's and i'll just show you one of them this one is a pretty large one but basically it comes like this if you take it out it uh, small right but then you can unscrew it and put it like that and then you have a full-size brush it's a large brush look how beautiful it is and there are three of them in here different thicknesses for different needs uh, and there are brushes that are portable that are even smaller than this if this is you know kind of still big for you but as you can see you can have a real full-size brush that is basically as tall as your planner and it's so easy it comes in this beautiful carrying case you just put your brushes inside and uh, take your portable paints your portable uh, planner and then you're good to go on your adventures of planning of painting of decorating and having lots of fun and there you have it cute portable supplies for cute portable planners look at this variety you don't have to limit yourself in embellishing and decorating your planner only because it's a pocket size you can still make it really cute reflect your personality brighten up your day and have it as an art project if anything don't feel like you need to have all of these supplies all at once i bought them slowly over last two years or so I tried different ones, I found them in different places, be it small makers or uh, neighborhood stores like Michael's or large retailers like Amazon. You can find a wonderful variety of supplies that will make your planner super cute and brighten up your day and make it an enjoyable time to be planning in your tiny portable adorable planner. And I hope you enjoy these and I hope you found something cute that you want to try yourself. I'm going to put links to everything in the description down below. And if you like these kind of videos, please like, please subscribe. In the comments, let me know which one of these supplies was your favorite. What is your favorite portable planner supply? Let me know. I'm really interested and always on the lookout for something cute and small to fit my pocket planners. And I will see you in the next video. And until then, you take care.